okay so today we'll be learning about directors let's first uh, do uh, the declaration part so i will be taking a vector of uh, integer data type and i will call it v so let's check the size of the vector what i can do is something uh, uh, i will see out v dot size uh, this will give me the size of the vector which is initially zero similarly what i can check is something called capacity capacity of the vector okay so i will i will just see out v dot capacity and off and then i will just end l so this will just give me okay the capacity of the vector which is also zero uh, so this should be zero and zero so okay okay four maybe five yeah five should be good now let's check the size of the and the capacity of the vector right now this should be five five yeah uh, so you can see that i have the size and the capacity remains the same now what i will do i will just push back and uh, now this uh, this function is really really important and you have to remember and this is like constant time operation so what i can do i can i need uh, let's say i need uh, extra element six at the end at the end Okay, in the vector. So I can what I can do. I can just push b dot push back. I can just type six. Okay, now I will just run this uh, command, run this kind of code, and it will, it will change to ten, right? So what is happening is, when this is five, the capacity is five. When I have pushed one and el one element, the vector size two times of its initial length, right? So it it can it can grow dynamically. Okay, let's say I do not need that. Uh, I, let's just first uh, train the train the vector. So what I can do is for integer i equal zero i less than v dot size i plus plus. And I can just see out v of i with a gap. Right. Let's see. Okay, we have all the elements. So I need, I don't need six, right? I've, I don't need six. What I can do is v dot pop back. Okay, remember this. Uh, remember that these operations are all all uh, constant time operations. Okay. So now what we can do is something as uh, known as fill con fill constructor, right? So let's say fill constructor. So let's say I need a vector of integer let's call it v1 and let's say i want 10 elements to be uh, of 4 so it will be it will initialize all my elements in the v1 vector all the 10 10 elements in the v1 vector as as 4 so let's let's check see all the elements are changed to 4 so this can help you in uh, in a way uh, the third, the third thing and the like main thing we can say uh, is let's say we are doing a, we want to sum up all the elements that are given in the vector. So what we initially used to do is something like this. We declare a, a variable called sum. We looked through the loop. We looked through the uh, all the elements in the vector. So i equals to zero. I less than uh, v dot size. Same v dot size. I plus plus and we what we used to do is sum equals to sum plus v of i right and we just make this c out of sum so this code gave gave me some of the all the elements that is 15 okay let's let's just give it a second next line okay so instead of this, there is a easy way using STL. What you can do is something called accumulate. So uh, let's declare a summation. And I, what I can do is call the accumulate function. So I will just call the accumulate function. I will just traverse all through all the elements in the vector. So I can, what I can do is v dot begin till all the end v dot end, and I can do this. And I will just see out summation.
yeah so you can see uh, this will probably give me 15 as well yeah so this zero is something which will be will will be adding to the sum of the total elements let's say i give it 10 so this will just return me 25 instead of 15 uh, yeah the same thing goes for this sum also if i can declare this with 10 the total add that total sum adds to this element sum yeah see so i will not do that i will just keep this zero i will just keep this zero now uh, the second thing we are more interested in is called sorting so what in in arrays what you used to do is something which is called a uh, short and we used to do this v comma v plus n so it gave us the sorted value of all the elements so in vectors what we can do in vectors we can we, what we can do is something similar to that we will be using a sort function all the way from the beginning till the end and let's 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 just print the vector again copy just copy this and i will just okay okay yeah okay let me just keep it unsorted maybe yeah something like this okay no uh, 56 45 23 65 1 2 yeah this should be good okay now it should be give it should give me the sorted value of all the elements so as you can see these are the sorted values so one more advantage this can give that by default it's ascending order what you can do is something which we need something in uh, descending order. what we can do is pass a third argument which is called a uh, greater of integer and i will just get the like the reverse of the ascent descending order of the elements so you can see that yeah so let's 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 go to the third let's do reverse what we want is to reverse all the elements uh so 45 45 23 68 1 and 3 what we want is 3 1 68 23 whatever what we can do is the reverse you we, we can use a reverse function and we do the same thing we begin we go till the end and we just do this as well okay not this see this gave me the okay because this is shorted because this is shorter in the descending order i get the descending order as ascending order so so what i can do i can uh, just do this and i can just reverse the array reverse the vector yeah see all things are reversed now fourth thing what i can do is find the minimum element in the vector element in the vector so what is the minimum element you are uh, observing here it is one right so what i can do is find the minimum or uh, maximum element in the vector so what i can do is let's declare a variable called mini now what, what I can do is something which is called a min element and will I will do the same I will do p dot begin uh, till p dot end okay and I just do max c which is the same it will find me the maximum element in the vector v dot begin v dot end now see out and uh, see out maxi let's give a gap let's give a gap yeah this will give this will give me the minimum and the maximum element in the vectors that is uh, 68 and 1 okay okay so these are the main things in vector all the basic things in vector see you in the next one